What's going on you all? Today we're teaching you how to use a USB microphone on your Xbox Series S. I did have a former video before that taught you how to utilize a USB microphone on an Xbox One. So here's another updated version. Now this is not the Series X. This is the Series S. So let's just go ahead and go over that real quick. So here's the items you're going to need. You're going to need a USB microphone that has a headphone port. The reason why and some volume control. So you control your output of your volume and you can monitor your voice while you're in party chat. Next you need a stereo stereo adapter an xbox stereo adapter allows for the splitting of the audio next after that you need a headphone splitter then within that headphone splitter you need an additional auxiliary cord a 3.5 aux cord then on top of that you just need headphones that don't have a microphone so you don't confuse the audio microsoft already makes it very confusing in splitting audio with your xbox so just use these items and i promise you'll be able to make it work now this uh does work with this microphone that i'm currently using but for the example today we are going to utilize a Rode NT-USB. Now, huge disclaimer, some people have claimed that they don't need the stereo adapter, but I have multiple USB microphones and every time I try without the stereo adapter, it just doesn't work. So I don't know, these items for sure I know work. I wouldn't be finessing y'all, that's a promise. I said it does work with this microphone and I'm gonna have everything in the description box below. So make sure you're checking out the description box and do everything and just follow these steps and I promise you'll get it. So let's get to it. All right, first things first, you need to plug in your USB microphone into the Xbox. Box, that's gonna ensure everything's gonna start going down the right route. Next, you plug in the stereo adapter into the bottom of your controller, snap it on, make sure it's a tight fit because it just any little loose aspect can really ruin everything when it comes down to audio. After that, you wanna plug in your headphone splitter, the one that has labeled a microphone and a headphone. You have to have that splitter for sure. It has to be an official splitter. Like what I said, I'll have them linked in the description below, but plug your headphone splitter under the stereo adapter. This is gonna allow for the splitting of the audio. Next, what you have to do is that you're gonna plug in the extra auxiliary cord. You're gonna plug one end into the mic side of the splitter and the other end is gonna go into the headphone port of your USB microphone because you're not gonna be using the headphones directly into the mic. This is gonna allow the splitting of the audio. So the stereo adapter recognizes everything. Lastly, you need to plug in your headphones into the headphone port of the headphone splitter. This allows for the full split of the audio, recognizing that headphones are being utilized without a mic and then a USB microphone. And after you have all that plugged in, you will then see everything going down. You'll see, you'll be able to see that you're talking in your chat and you could also hear yourself. So let's go ahead and get into that full example right now all right we're in the finalized state right here you can see my xbox and the, this is the series s with the robot white controller you see the headset adapter stereo adapter and then you see the headphone splitter going into a uh you see it goes into my headphones and then it's going to go into right here is the other mic that we're going to be utilizing which is this right here which is a rode nt usb now when i start doing this full process exactly you're going to see my party chat moving go ahead and do that so now you now you're gonna see that you can see my the movement on my party chat as every time you see it. So right here, I'm gonna stop again. Check, check. All right. So now, right, so you can hear it all going through here. The party chat's moving around. I'm using this microphone instead, and um, yeah, that's how exactly how it goes. This is for the sample what I'm teaching y'all, and this is the microphone that's actually working. It's plugged in through the splitter right here. It's a headphone all the way through the splitter, and you'll see all the way through see it connected to the control like what i said this is it right here check yeah, that is the full setup. Like what I said, a disclaimer, this is a Xbox Series S. Now I heard the Series X, you don't need a stereo adapter. Series S, I've tried it multiple times with multitudes of microphones in trying out a stereo adapter. So far, hasn't worked for me. I'm gonna link everything in the description box below. It does work with this Fifine mic. So I'll, do, I'll have this, I have the Rode NT-USB uh, linked in. Every piece of item that I do have to ensure to help you out. This is amazing for people that are looking into just a, a crispier gameplay with the USB microphone and the feel real aesthetic and approachable in terms of the professionalism when it comes down to console gaming and streaming and just having a setup overall in general so i really hope that this helped you out like what i said everything that uh, will be linked in descriptions below check them out ask questions comment and i promise we are here to help you out so make sure y'all hit us up and show us some love i appreciate y'all man y'all have a good one make sure you like and subscribe as we always can use that help too man so we're here to help y'all peace